Taking these off. Good morning and welcome back to my channel. I am actually in the Dunkin' drive-thru currently. So pumpkin coffee is back as of yesterday. I saw everybody posting about it on Instagram later in the day. So I don't know if this was released later in the day in Orlando, but I'm actually getting it right now. Well, I'm here from Snack Finish. How are you doing today? Hi, I'm doing good. How are you? Great. How can I help you? It's time for pumpkin at Dunkin'. <laughs> Um, so I got a medium iced coffee with three pumpkin swirl, three stevia, and almond milk. Oh yeah, literally like every memory comes back from last year. Fall for me last year was the best because I had just moved into my apartment, my own apartment. I was living in an area that I loved I cr literally created a life that I was excited for to wake up to every day and it was just like, that is exactly what this tastes like. It tastes like fresh beginnings, a life that I love. I also have a pumpkin donut. So let's all try this one together. Oh my gosh, it looks just like they always have. I am a happy girl today. And now, here's the thing. I don't know if you guys are like this. Leave comments down below. Is it for you like, pumpkin stuff comes out, you're gonna go get it? Or are you the type of person that you're like, I can't do it until September 1st? I am going to film a couple days in my life because I have a very fun few days in my life coming up because today I have some work that I need to get done that is like very unfortunate, very boring, but my Halloween costume should be coming in today. And I also made some updates to the house. I bought some new things I would love to share with you guys. And um, tomorrow I'm going to Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party. Maybe even go into this weekend a little bit. I don't know if I wanna film today and tomorrow or go into the weekend. We'll just see how much footage I have and just go from there. But today, y'all, is a good day. I also need to share with you guys these sunglasses that I purchased, huge aviators from Amazon, amazing dupes for the key, high key sunglasses, okay? K K Q U A Y. Huge dupes for those. I have been wearing these the last two weeks in Typhoon Lagoon. They're polarized. They were only $15, honey. I've been off social media for a week. I've been, um, like, I haven't posted. I took about four days away, fully away. The only thing I was doing was like responding to messages and stuff. But I took a full week away from social media because I realized that I felt like I pigeonholed myself on there and I'm just, I'm over it. So I can't wait. I'm gonna like post a little Instagram story now and I'm like excited to post, but I gotta go because all these teenagers are getting out of their cars because I'm by school. Ah, cringe. I, 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 I'm the ick. Ew. Hello, a little later in the day. Um, I wanted to show you guys, uh, <laughs> I bought something. Um, when do I not buy something? Um, that currently elevates our living room. Let me show you. Can confirm, um, Andre literally got this rug in the mail and he was like, you did not just buy a rug. And I said, I did. Um, literally it looks so cute so elevated so much her i bought it from wayfair because it was on sale and i don't know if you guys follow that girl lauren elizabeth freaking love her home decor style and she has this rug i'm pretty sure she has it in the larger but i really enjoyed this i kind of wish i got larger but then i wouldn't be able to like pull out my office chair here but i'm loving this i'm vibing with the like more cozier vibes in here with the rug instead of the cowhide the cowhide just I do love the cowhide, but I like how cozy this feels. I hope that makes sense. Um, bringing back the Amazon flannel, 
now that it's fall. But let's also be real, I wear them all the time anyway. I'm back home from my escapade. Escapade as in I just went to the Joe and Goods um, studio. Um, and I literally went there for social interaction, right? And they decided to give me eight new necklaces. I now have, I was telling you guys earlier, my Halloween costume. First package. Hee <laughs> hee. I don't know if I necessarily like want this as my dress i have two options so i have this dress and this kind of looks like edna mode got it on amazon but it has like a little zipper like a little three quarter i don't know i'm gonna have to try this on but this is dress number one or i could do i saw a few other girlies on like uh pinterest doing this um do you love a good pinterest moment but they wore a regular black dress and then they did like a black leather something over top and this is a black leather blazer that I could layer over top and have it be more of like a, a cute, like Disney bound moment. So I could do that. <laughs> I purchased um, actual Edna Mode glasses from Amazon. I purchased these um, black, stockings and then i also have a black wig so should i try this on now we here we're lit he's going as one of the four town members i should try on the whole fit should i do the whole outfit yeah okay let's try on the whole outfit honey i'm cackling already here's the dress the dress first and then I have on the black stockings. And then I'm gonna do these boots. They're my Steve Madden's. Also guys, I'm pretty positive this dress on Amazon was only $10 or $11. Now it's time for the fun part, the wig. There's the bangs. <laughs> oh my God, okay, here we go. I haven't put on a wig in a minute. All right, I don't even, I don't even want to look at myself yet. Are you guys, are we, oh my God. Okay. I, I cannot. This. This wig is so soft and this dress is beyond comfortable. I am I that girl I'm I need to go okay we're going to the full-length mirror <laughs> but why do I look like her literally I'm dead I'm deceased no capes I well so much for making dinner tonight with our dinnerly whatever We've been cooking in for the last four nights using HelloFresh, which we love HelloFresh. We um, literally love HelloFresh. It makes cooking at the end of the night so much easier. The lettuce wraps. But he loved the lettuce wraps yesterday. So but um, we're actually gonna go through the Shake Shack drive-thru. We're back and the Shake Shack is here. We got, what'd you get? A Smoke Shack burger? Double Smoke Shack, just trying to open this. Double Smoke Shack, she's cute. And then one of the things that is unique about Shake Shack, and we were already digging into these on the way here, is that they have crinkle fries. And then I got, I got a lettuce burger, so it literally just looks like a ton of lettuce. But there's a burger in there, I promise. So it's time to chow down.
happy Friday. Um, I've already gotten up. I've had my caffeine. I did my skincare and only my face makeup because we are headed to the Halloween party tonight. And I didn't want to put on mascara just yet, but also without mascara, my eyes are so blue. Holy crap. I'm wearing my Joe and Goods Co necklaces today because I simply can't get enough. And I filmed a few TikToks this morning that I need to edit, but I have a meeting I actually need to jump on. Um, but I'm very excited. All I can think about today is the party <laughs> and just being Edna mode. So um, very excited, but yeah, I'm feeling good today. I'm feeling really refreshed. I feel like today is gonna be a great day. I get to see my friend Kayla. She's coming into town and going to the party with us. I can't wait to take you guys along on this Friday. Been working most of the day today, guys. Um, I am honestly exhausted. We have a party to get ready for. Yeah, I'm like, <laughs> I've been thinking about this party all day today. <laughs> Weird times happening on my camera. Oh God. My camera, for whatever reason, did this really weird, like, countdown. I don't know. But what I just did, I just freshened up my skin makeup a little bit. I also have nowhere to put you guys in my bathroom except for, like, in this cabinet. So, um, you can't really see a lot going on. I mean, I can put you places, but all of, like, the counters in here in my bathroom are really low so then yet again you would be in a position whoops much like in the kitchen where you guys are just looking up my nostrils i also burned myself on my curling iron yesterday you can't ew the lighting what is going on the continental united states is the size of my eyebrows in the best way possible been using the nyx brow glue um, which I don't love, but you know, anything to keep these girls in line. To a shocking surprise, I switched my mascara back to Lash Paradise. I don't know why I switched mascaras. Like, does anybody else get that way? You just get bored of what you're already using. And that was me with Lash Paradise. I just like got really bored with it. And then I went back to another L'Oreal one. I think it's the Carbon Black. And now I'm back on my Lash Paradise game. What I did with my makeup was I literally did my normal makeup and I put on this ColourPop Star Wars in the shade Dark Lord to give me a little like Pixar skin color. And then with this um, Maybelline lift gl lifter gloss with hyaluronic acid in the shade moon this is a great dupe for the fenty so i think i'm going to bring both of these with me this evening and i am actually going to start going oh, it is such cooler light in here which is insane okay so my eyes looks so blue when I have something on my lips. It is highway robbery. So I have bobby pins out now. I'm getting more bobby pins out. So that I can put my wig on. I wanna film content and I wanna take pictures. I found myself in a place on my week of social media where I have, for whatever reason, put on the identity of I don't care about content. I don't even know how to explain it. I just became like anti-content for a bit. And I'm like, I don't really care about content, but deep down I really do. So now I'm like making it a priority after I've reflected on that, that I do care about content. And it's okay if I want to stop tonight to film content, I'm not gonna be a burden to my friends. They can go on without me. I do it with all of my friends. I literally leave them in the dust while they're filming their content for me to go get mine. I'm gonna put my wig on and I'm gonna start putting my costume on. And I'm going to see if I wanna do the dress that I did last night or if I wanna go the more Disney bound route. So I'm gonna try on both of those and just see how I feel for the evening. So it also looks like a huge storm is rolling in. Um, so I really hope that it rains first and then we're done for the night. I really hope it's not like raining all night. That would be absolutely horrendous. Okay, so I've tried on 
my other option, which is the more like Disney bounding route, which is this pleather blazer. It's like a long blazer with this Amazon dress, my stockings. I don't think I like the silhouette of this though in comparison to my other dress. But then I'm also like, if this rains, this would come in handy. Mm. And then it's like I would just return the other dress, which is totally fine. Ladies and gentle ladies, it's wig time. Okay. All right. Oh, I keep forgetting with stuff like this that like I have to be careful at the top of my head. Ah, okay. There's that. I'm okay. I'm good. I'm great. <laughs> All right. What? <laughs> I'm freaking dead. I'm so dead. I cannot believe that this is my life. In the middle of August, I am dressing up as Edna Mode to go to a party. Okay, I put on the blazer with the Amazon dress, the um, my regular Amazon dress that I wear all the time. And I'm gonna see, it is, it's dark, y'all. It's about to, it's about to storm like the dickens out there. Look at that sky. That looks ominous. Okay, we're ready to go. Edna Mode is here. I changed into the other dress. Uh, Sierra and Kayla both voted on the other dress. Mr. Fortown is here. Crazy. But we're gonna head out. We both have umbrellas because I showed you guys the rain. It looks pretty bad. Um, a lot of the rest of this vlog is probably going to be on my iPhone. Um, so I already posted a TikTok showing everybody my costume. And we're going to head out now. It is 525. People have been able to get into the park since 430. Um, but we have everything that we want to do for the evening. And we're going to head out. <laughs> Happy Saturday. I don't know how we're up and at them. Honestly, it's 10 o'clock. We both woke up around like eight o'clock-ish. Yeah, it was like eight-ish. I went to the gym like a whole two hours ago. No, we both woke up at eight. I remember I went to the bathroom at 7.55, oh. 7.50, which for us, I know it's weird. That's late for us. Um, but we're now headed to Disney Springs. We both last night were like on the way home from the party We're like brunch sounds really good tomorrow or like breakfast sounds really good tomorrow So we're headed to Disney Springs We don't know if we're gonna do the boathouse or wine bar George because by the time we get there wine bar George will be open so It's time to head to Disney Springs. Um, we're also gonna like walk around. We haven't been there in a little bit um, I kind of want to go by Sephora. When do I not want to go by Sephora? He wants to go by the World of Disney. And we're just going to have a nice little leisurely morning. Wow, I'm looking uh, quite tan in this light. Wow, if that goes to show how much I, how much time I've been spending outside, this should be it. Like, look at, listen. Back from Disney Springs, and I have purchased quite a few things in Disney Springs, as well as like throughout the week before I even started filming that I wanted to share with you guys. So I ended up going to Joffrey's as well as you guys probably saw Sephora. Um, so I am going to kick this off with the fall things first. Um, first of all, something that I got last night, actually Sierra surprised me with this, is the Halloween party t-shirt. And this one says Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party in this like gray acid wash. Of course I got it oversized and then I love the back of this it looks so good we're actually going to another Halloween party next week and I might end up wearing this I don't think I'm gonna do Edna mode again or get another costume because now I'm like okay if I have a t-shirt or if I just want to do like something Halloweeny I could definitely do that but 
This shirt was $30. However, I did get it 50% off because um, Andre's a cast member and cast members get things 50% off right now in like Disney through like Disney merchandise and stuff like that. Another thing that I got because of the Disney merchandise being 50% off is the throw pillows. Whoever designed this ghost deserves ample credit. It, it literally, the spooky little ghost this year that says boo on the back, like this is really cute. I cannot wait to put this up in the house. And this, oh my gosh, the little Jack Lantern Mickey. I think what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna take some scissors and take off this green piece right here. I do not like that green piece um, and just keep that. Or I can't really cut this top part off because I would love to have that and then like none of that. But um, I just love how like quirky and fun this is. So I'll let you guys know because it looks like there's just like green stitching in here. So yeah, that's what I'm hoping to do to these. And this one says happy Halloween on the back. And the last thing that I got from World of Disney, Disney, what have you, is this keychain set. But this keychain set has the ghost with the Mickey hat. I freaking love that. And then it has a Jack Lantern Mickey. And then it also has this little boo. And what I'm thinking with this is actually like, hello, now you can focus on me. Um, is putting this on my Lululemon belt bag um, so that it's just like something cute or on I have a crossbody Madewell purse that I'm gonna start using again um, and just putting it on that for like a little added like you know spooky fun flair that um, I absolutely love. Um, the next thing that I got that's still like Disney-ish related was we stopped in Joffrey's and we got two different blends. I tried their pumpkin spice cold brew or it's not even pumpkin spice, it's like pumpkin pie iced coffee. Very good. And then Andre got the apple cinnamon chai latte. Super good. That one actually like shockingly good. Um, and the first one is this um, Joffrey's Tea and Company Disney Special Collection, you know, the whole ordeal. The Not So Scary Pumpkin Brew. This is a bewitching blend of pumpkin pie and vanilla. So what I'm thinking with this is we could do this in the French press. Might do that tomorrow morning. Um, and just, you know, have as much pumpkin as we possibly can or just like fun stuff as we possibly can while the season is here. And then the second blend is their Hocus Pocus, um, I guess collaboration, I'm not necessarily sure. This one's the Sanderson Sisters Brew, which is cinnamon, apple, and caramel. Both of these are a medium roast, and Joffrey does a really good job of exactly what they say the blend is, that is how it's going to taste. So I'm really curious how this cinnamon, apple, and caramel goes. And then with these, can you guys let me know in the comments, what creamer do you use with them? Because I have absolutely no idea. But um, even stuff like this, I have said this time and time again, I also love the Kona blend from Joffrey's. If you're not big into Disney merchandise, but you still want like a sprinkle of Disney at home, highly, highly, highly recommend getting some Joffrey's coffee, whether it be K-Cups or they're just regular blends. We do this and do it in a French press. So like boiling water over top of it. Or I've also been thinking about getting like a cold brew little thing that we could put um, in the refrigerator because I mean, it's hot here and iced coffee sounds great. So there's that. And then we are going to dive into my Sephora that I got. Um, quite a few things from Sephora. You know, you have barely anything in your hands and then it ends up being, you know, $700. Did not purchase $700 worth of stuff. Um, the first thing that I got is the Whey Scalp Serum. This apparently, I'm a big Whey girl and we all know this. I use exclusive Whey um, detox shampoo. I use their hair mask out of the shower. I use their leave-in conditioner as well as their hair oil and Whey has completely changed my hair. And I've heard great things about the scalp serum. So I'm really excited to try this. Um, it says Whey to healthy hair starts with the scalp. The skincare inspired serums balance, hydrates your scalp to help create an ideal environment for thicker, fuller hair. 
drop daily on your scalp for best results. I'm not going to do daily, probably just, um, I don't know, right when I'm about to wash my hair and then probably like right as I'm getting out, like as it's still wet, you know, that sort of thing. I'm excited to try this. And um, I also am just restocking on the Ordinary Hyaluronic Acid. Definitely love the Ordinary brand. Cheap, good products. And um, yeah, this was literally $10. And so many hyaluronic acids right now are anywhere between like $30 to $40. I'm not spending that. So love the Ordinary. Um, and then... On the topic of skincare, on the way to the checkout, it got me. These were all $4 each. I got different eye masks. I've been wanting to do eye masks because I absolutely love them. I got two of the Sephora brand hydrating vitamin E eye masks. Um, these should be super fun. All of these are also um, one pair of five minute patches. Got that one. I got the cucumber eye mask i'm assuming this is for like soothing yep soothing and depuffing. love that and then i also my skin does so well with caffeine and this one is soothing and energizing this is the caffeine eye mask my skin for whatever reason responds really well to caffeine um and then two things two new products i'm actually super excited to try we all know I'm a self-tanning girly. I finally got the Isle of Paradise medium tanning drops. These are for the face and body. I used to love putting tanning drops on my face and then I had that like big breakout time. So I might start putting this on my skin again um, and just try it out on my face. Maybe try it out on my whole body tonight. However, I am looking pretty tan, just like living as a regular human finally. Um, so we'll see how this works. I also, uh, burn myself with my curling iron haven't done that since I was like I don't know 13 but not sure how this is going to react it'll probably yeah she's feeling a little dry up there I might pass on the face but I might try these on my body tonight with my moisturizer and then I am excited and very nervous about this I got the rare beauty soft pinch blush liquid liquid blushes what is this called the soft pinch dewy liquid blush in the shade happy and these every single time i've gone i've been wanting to buy a rare beauty liquid blush they've all been sold out every single time i go so this is one of those products that it's like a little goes a long way and i've been wanting to try a cutie little liquid blush because i love that clean girl aesthetic that everybody has so i'm super excited to try this if I like this, then I might move on to their, um, what is it, their highlighters? Because I know some people that do like two dots of this with like one dot of their highlight and then it just looks dewy. I don't know. Um, I've started liking beauty products again, if you guys can't tell. Um, and yeah, I'm just like really excited about all of these things. And you guys know my favorite hobby is spending money. So um, I will have as many of these products as well as just like fun things listed in the description down below. And um, yeah, what I'm gonna do right now for the rest of the day is actually, it's really, really hot out. It's 93 degrees. That feels like it's like 110. I am just gonna sit on the bed and read and um we're going to the movies tonight we're going to this um theater called sinopolis it's our absolute favorite and we're going to see the movie bullet train i keep forgetting how to end out my vlogs but thank you so so much for watching i really hope that you guys have a great rest of your night or day whenever you are watching this and i will see you in the next